Hi, and uh, nice to see you, or to see you again for some of you. Um, apparently my cat wants to <laughs> be a part of this video too. So today I will talk about three of the main planetary position in the natal chart, uh, also important in the uh, couple charts, about Mercury, Venus and Mars. I will start with Mercury, one of my dearest planets, one that is very close to my ascendant. And I will invite you to uh, contemplate Mercury thinking about duality. Not a bad kind of duality, a duality that talks uh, more about uh, an interesting complexity. And I, I feel that uh, the ones that are Geminis know what I'm talking about. So classically, Mercury is associated with Gemini and Virgo, and I uh, like this association a lot because uh, one of the first dualities that I like about Gemini, about Mercury, is uh, that it's associated both with the nervous system related to the mind and to the mental processes, but also to the enteric nervous system. And this is my invitation for you to always think about Mercury as uh, the brain we classically know and the second brain that we have in the stomach. And when you contemplate the position where your Mercury is or the sign where your Mercury is, always think about what is the way I uh, digest <laughs> information or I digest uh, new ideas. Because maybe your Mercury is in a more contemplative sign and you will need more time to understand and to um, contemplate stuff in your way and in your own time or maybe you have it in a fire sign and it's very fast and very furious <laughs> or maybe it's in a it's an air sign and you get from one idea to another and you like that mental stimulation and uh, also the way your body works is very related to mercury in that sense so this is the first duality the second duality is associated with the symbols so um, the god Hermes is associated with Mercury and uh, the symbol it had, it was the Caduceus and the Caduceus had two snakes intertwined and two wings. The wings, as you already know, are associated to flight and to the way information goes from one place to another. And the snakes, they are, they are a very interesting symbol for, uh, for Hermes and for Mercury too because the snakes are also, as you might uh, have guessed, it, they are a symbol of uh, knowledge and of being wise, but they are also a symbol of uh, danger and wit, <laughs> and they are cunning. So this is very classical for Mercury, because Mercury has this uh, association. It has the very volatile and happy part and very the wings that go from one place to another and they transmute the information but it also has that part of having a lot of knowledge and knowing that knowledge is power so when you look at your mercury always look at it with uh, patience because it might reveal in time so this is mercury let's go to venus venus is uh, one of my other favorites uh, also very close to my ascendant and Venus was an enormous surprise for me when I started uh, diving deeper in it. It was um, one of the pearls <laughs> of uh, of the planets. For me Venus Venus has a complexity that I, I haven't even imagined at first. Uh, classically it's associated to beauty, to relationships, to art, to um, the sign of Taurus and the sign of Libra. I personally believe that the Libra is like more the spirit of Venus. But it's also um, associated with the day of Friday. So I invite you to make, to, to make together a little time travel and imagine what Venus meant uh, means now after the Romans gave a new meaning to the day Friday and what it meant before the Romans did that. So, uh, because Romans liked a lot uh, food and parties and art and beauty, they associated Friday with Venus in this way. But before that, the Mayan people considered Friday to be a day of execu uh, executions and a day related to seeing what is correct and what is not correct. And 
uh, they called Venus, the, day of the planet of this day, the eye, because Venus was shining very bright in the sky, as we already saw some months ago it was very, or some weeks ago it was very shiny in the sky. So this eye, Venus, was associated with uh, seeing what was correct and what wasn't correct. So Friday was this day of punishment if what you did wasn't correct. So whenever I look at Venus, I combine these two views on Venus and I look at Venus as the interior beauty and the exterior beauty. And it's the place in the map, in the chart, where you can see how these two ways of beauty collide, <laughs> or how, if they collide or how they collide, because in some cases very difficult aspects might also mean that the way I see morality and the way I express it might be a bit different, or the way I see beauty and morality are in clash. So Venus is, is a very deep complex and I invite you to explore it with patience and uh, see what the scales mean for you because it's associated to Libra, what balance and scales mean to you and what real beauty means to you. And finally we go to Mars. <laughs> Mars, I'll be fast with Mars because Mars is fast and efficient. Mars is associated uh, mainly with Aries and it was associated and still is in some systems with uh, Scorpio and um, Mars is the planet of action and the planet that shows our warrior side, the planet that shows our dynamic side, the planet that shows uh, our instinctual drives, our sexual needs and so on. Um, Mars is a lot associated with immature acts and it's a planet that needs maturation, it, it matures in time. <laughs> sometimes you can do something about it, sometimes you just have to let it be, <laughs> let it manifest and it will but you are in time. And the sign uh, where you have Mars is very important to see what is the way uh, you act like a warrior in the, in the exterior. Mars is, I always associate Mars with that energy of waking up in the morning and doing what you feel like doing that day. So if you live according to the sign and the placement where your Mars is, you will feel that energy like, oh, I feel so alive, I feel so happy doing what I'm doing. So look where your Mars is, look at the aspect it has, look what inspires your Mars and how you can express your vital energy into the world. So meet you next time when we will talk about uh, the duo that Venus and Mars make in, uh, in the charts and express the feminine and the masculine side. And uh, till then, have a very nice week. Bye bye!